folks, my next com uh, guest is a comedian and actor who starred in everything from Aladdin to Sharknado 4. Please welcome Gilbert Gottfried. I can't believe Mel B didn't talk to me backstage because I used to be in the Spice Girls. Really? Yeah. Which one were I you? I was Jewy Spice. <laughs> yeah. I remember. Yes. I remember. In, yeah. the, in the music videos, I wear a talus. <laughs> Kids love that. Yes. Kids, tweens love that. <laughs> Gilbert, uh, I haven't seen you since uh, we've uh, we've actually had a couple times we've been able to be there for events celebrating a movie called Life Animated, which is uh, you have a very interesting part in this about uh, uh, an autistic child who actually learned to communicate with his parents and his friends through the power of Disney animation, and your character Iago the parrot is yeah, like the was like father the... put on an Iago parrot mm -hmm. puppet that uh, character I did in Aladdin. Yep. And he started imitating my voice. Mm -hmm. and, and his son, who didn't communicate at all... Hadn't talked to them for four years. Yeah, stared at it and recognized it as an old friend. And they were able to communicate after And then the that. door opened to communication for the whole family. Yeah, and, 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 and I already knew about... <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And, and we talked after the first screening of it, and, uh, and uh, I sort of did a little interview with you, and you said you learned a lot. Uh, yeah, I, I learned everything I know about autism from Jenny McCarthy. <laughs> uh, and, and I have two kids. She convinced me not to vaccinate either one of them. And the good news is neither of my children have autism. The bad news is they both have polio. <laughs> So, you gotta take the good with the bad. Obviously, here. obviously. I mean, come on. Obviously, yeah. No, that's. You are, you are, that was not a surprising joke coming from you. You actually told this in front of a room uh, of yes. about 1,500 people, many of, you, many of whom. Uh, were there because their uh, their children actually were yes. developmentally disabled. Yes, this is why. <laughs> and this is what I love about you is there's no joke you won't tell. Yeah. As soon as, <laughs> as, soon as, as, soon as you think of it. Yeah. Well, and and now you can't tell jokes anymore. It's like the uh, the whole society goes crazy if they don't like the joke. I feel like jokes now should come with a set of instructions. Like, if you think it's funny, laugh. If you don't think it's funny, don't laugh. You know, it, it, it's... <laughs> <laughs> you, is there any... Like, you, you've made jokes about things that, like recent tragedies. Oh, yeah. You've made jokes about recent tragedies, and it's, it's caused you some trouble. Thank God it's been kept out of the papers, though. <laughs> That's the is there, Do you have a rule? The rule some people say is, like, you know, tragedy plus time. Like, what's your time limit? When do you... When uh, do you... No, I like to do it right away. <laughs> when it's fresh. Yeah. Fresh me? Okay. Okay. I like to get the internet to hate me right away. All right. Well, we're well on our and, way tonight, and, Gilbert. And, okay. <laughs> well, no, you yes. just posted this yes. on your Instagram. Yes. What's going on here? And, uh, okay, so this is you. This is you. And this, this gentleman right here is the President of the United States now. <laughs> You're doing this face behind. Where yeah. was this, and where where were you pulling the yeah, face behind? Yeah, I think the I was about seven uh, when this was taken. It was at some event, and Donald Trump. I I didn't really I knew who he was in real right. estate, and uh, I was fascinated by him because I know about black people, white people, and yellow people, but I I had never seen an orange person before. <laughs> So this is, uh... <laughs> and so I decided, you know, he wasn't the president at the time, to go behind him and start making faces yeah, yeah. and 
Wait, you could be arrested yeah. soon for you could be arrested. Uh, yeah, soon now for I that. could be at least audited. <laughs> um, now you've got a podcast called Gilbert Gottfried's Amazing Colossal Podcast. You've interviewed legends like Bruce Dern, Ed Asner, Dick Van Dyke. These are older gentlemen. Uh, yeah. Would, the do you have average to average age of the, of our guest is dead. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have to like like interviewing Dick Van Dyke? Like everybody, like, people love Dick Van Dyke. Dick Van Dyke show, yeah. Mary Poppins. Do you have to watch your no, language? No, no. That's them? the amazing thing. Like we had Dick Van Dyke, who's 90, and uh, he was one of our. He's he, we got him to appeal to the younger crowd. <laughs> and, and Dick Van Dyke, the first story he tells us, and that he. And another former guest of our podcast, Orson Bean. Orson Bean. Yes. They used to be friends, uh, I guess still are. And when they were struggling performers, every day they would go to the Central Park Zoo and they would watch this chimpanzee who'd smoke a cigar and masturbate. <laughs> this. And he was a masturbating monkey. Now I'm the masturbating monkey. <laughs> but except I don't smoke a cigar. So you can say I, that you can say more. that in front of Dick Van Dyke. Yes. You can talk yeah. about it. Guess where you can't say that? CBS. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think any of that's gonna we'll find out. We'll find out. Gilbert, lovely <laughs> to see you again. <laughs> Gilbert Godfrey's amazing colossal podcast.